right. So this is going to be a trade recap on Tesla, October 28th. Now, just to talk a little bit about what happened today, the market opened down big. When the market opens down big, I usually tread lightly. I don't want to push it. I don't want to go crazy. I'm not trying to hit home runs today. I'm going to size down a little bit just so I don't get into trouble. And then that's how I'm going to approach the day. So now knowing that, I was watching a handful of names, one of them obviously being Tesla. And looking at the daily chart, there was a major level on Tesla at 410. I think if Tesla gets below 410, there was a possibility that it could sell off. Now it's about waiting for a pattern and trying to get a good entry like always. This is what happened off the open. And I actually missed the first good setup that I see. I see a very quick opening range break. It create a morning high of around 418 and then took out the low at 415. That was actually a good setup. It happened pretty quick, so I missed it. I don't want to chase. Every single time I chase, I usually end up losing money. So just seeing it get to that level and now waiting for a tight pattern. So I took a handful of trades on this, but the reason why I wanted to show these trades today is because it really goes to show my philosophy of go quick or just get out. So as you can see, Tesla had a nice move down. I did not want to chase that. Let it push back up in the VWAP. So it's below VWAP, below the nine. Looks weak. And I'm thinking if this can get right below, right around that 412.50, this looks pretty good. Maybe even to break low a day for a nice move. And now I'm just waiting for the tape to speed up a little bit and break right around that 412.50. And I think that's a good entry. And then right there, I end up getting short three contracts. The 410 puts, I probably could have taken the 41250s, but I just quickly got the 410s loaded. So went with it, filled at $6.24. And I think that that's a pretty good entry. Now I want to see the tape speed up, get below 412 and just show me that sellers are in control. And right now the tape's not even going that fast, but I'm going to give it a second. There we go. Starts to speed up a bit, takes out 412. A lot of size at 412. I want to see that just get chewed through and it very quickly get a nice move. So I'm now up in the position. So this is how I'm now going about it. I'm up a decent amount and I don't wanna let this go red. So now not only am I looking at the chart, but I'm also keeping in mind the option contracts that I got in at 624 and I wanna see this go. And Tesla just kinda of stopped on a dime and it has tendencies to do this. So when Tesla stops on a dime and starts to come back and bounce, I usually just get out of the way because you never know when that could be a possible double bottom and go against you. So I end up just getting right out of the trade. It came back up to my entry and look at that. It quickly, look at that nasty bounce. That's why I try to get out of Tesla quick. It's not easy to do that, but that is a rule that I've implemented that has saved me from a lot of pain because yes, sometimes that can just be a bit of a shakeout and then it comes back to where it was and then all of a sudden it has the move that you were looking for. But I'm okay with giving it a shot. That big candle, in my opinion, should have had more follow through. So the moment it kind of stopped on a dime and starts to come against me, just get out. And I happen to make 89 bucks on the trade. So I'm okay with a small winner or even a small loser, just so that way I don't get into trouble because my biggest losses have come from when I'm trading Tesla and I don't get out of the trade quick enough. So Tesla pushed up the VWAP. It's still below the nine EMA, but I got out just to be careful. And now once again, I'm out of the trade. So I don't have any emotions tied to it. I can now reevaluate. And I'm just watching the price action. If this breaks below that prior pivot low, right where it bounced from, this looks pretty good again. So I'm willing to give it another shot. Still trading the same size. I'm not getting emotional. I'm not sizing up, doubling my position, things like that. Coming up to that pivot low, take it short right there. I think that's a pretty good entry. Now this should break. That looks like a really good technical pattern, knowing that there is a major level below. And I want to try to hold out for that break of 410. And I want it to go quick or I just get out. That 411.50 broke, didn't go with as much speed as I want to see. Once again, I want to see tape speed and I want to see those sellers take control immediately. If they don't, I start to think that maybe this can go against me and I don't want to be involved in a squeeze. So I'm just waiting. I haven't been in the trade that long. I'm not down a lot on the position. My mouse has hovered over the sell button. It didn't do what I wanted it to do right away. So I'm trying to be patient, but I don't want to overstay my welcome. Tesla's a big mover. That should have went quick if sellers were in control and it's just dancing around that level. And the tape speed is just not picking up the way that I wanted it to. And then it gets above 412, I get out of the trade because there's a possibility that it can get over 412.50, maybe squeeze over VWAP. And I don't want to be involved in that kind of squeeze like I have been before. 
And now Tesla pushed up to the nine EMA. It got rejected there again. So using new data to be able to make a trade decision. So now this looks good again, coming down to right around that 41150, trading the same size, got short again, right there. How many times can a level test before it finally breaks? And it just broke underneath it and then popped back above it. And I noticed Tesla can do this a lot. It can break a key level, trap shorts, and then reclaim and then spike higher. So what did I do? That did not go as fast as I wanted it to, so I got out again. So you notice, this is borderline over trading, but I'm not getting into trouble. I'm still using my philosophy of it just doesn't go right away, get out of the trade. So I've taken three trades on Tesla and I'm up $11 on the day. So I've been able to manage the risk pretty well. And this is a lot of times what can happen. Not every single day is super clean and super smooth, but if I take a handful of trades, the losers are either really small or a lot of break evens. And then I can finally catch that one that's a nice winner and makes up for all the paper cuts or kind of the trades that got nowhere prior to it. So I was just getting shooken out on the last trades, but just to be safe, I wanted to get out. And this now looks really good. So I'm still thinking below 411.50, knowing that there is that major technical level below 410, and it's really starting to get tight on the nine. And also the price action is starting to get really tight. So if it breaks to the downside, I think there's going to be follow through. So I have three contracts loaded again, still looking at the 410 puts. The spread is pretty good. And then the moment it shows weakness again, especially now that it's even tighter, I want to give it a shot. And then once it breaks and it starts to speed up, that's going to be my moment to take profits. So coming into 411.50, right there, tape got a little weak. Sellers took control right there. So I got short right around 411.20s. And now I want to see this break 411 right away. It breaks 411 really quick. 70s, 410s, 60s, 410s, 50s, 40s, 30s. That's tape speed right there. 20s into 410. It even had a little volatility pause for a second. Breaks 410, really starts to speed up. That's a move. And that's a move that happens right away. So I want my trades to go almost instantly or I already start thinking about getting out of them. And this was a very nice move. And now we've had a big move pushing down almost to 409. So I'm about two, almost two points in the money. And then the moment this just starts to slow down is going to be when I want to take those profits. And right around 409.50, kind of bounced off that a couple times. Hasn't been able to break it that clean. 409.50 again, numerous times seeing it hold up. So I just get out of the trade and I take the quick profits. And Tesla ended up going further. So had I been a minute more patient, I would have been able to get more of the move. But I'm okay with getting the meat of that move and making $316 in one minute, especially when I gave it a handful of chances before and it wasn't working out when I finally got it. Just take it. And this is a great example of what a lot of my trading days are like. It's not every single day I'm taking one solid trade and it's some huge big winner and everything is great. I have probably on average about two maybe sometimes three days a week where I'm taking shots on stuff. It's not necessarily going my way. I am getting out quick. So I'm doing the right thing as far as risk management. And then I finally find that one trade that has that quick follow through. I get the nice move and put up a decent day. But the most important thing, and at least for my trading, is my rule of green and call it. I don't care if it's 50 bucks or it's $500. If I've been struggling a little bit, or I can take a trade really quick off the open and it's a very nice winner. I try my best to just stop trading because my stats tell me the more I continue to trade, the worse I am and I don't want to give anything back. So that was a quick recap of my Tesla trades. Wasn't the easiest, but I'm glad that I came out all right. Appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you later.